if it's so exciting that we can get married now, but we can still be deported. Ah. It's great that we can get married, but we don't have a visa. Right, or there are other scenarios in which we have that if we come from a country where LGBT people face violence, can they get asylum in the United States? I wanted to be able to live here and become a U.S. citizen at, at almost any cost was that I knew that I was a woman and said and at some point in life I would transition and I would never have been able to transition in India, not me. Capia put together a series of principles that identified what are the priority issues that LGBT, Asian, South Asian, Southeast Asian, Pacific Islanders want to see on immigration reform. We're trying to live life ordinarily like any other family would, but in the back of our minds, always like, when is it going to be? What's going to happen next? It is an injustice. So what we really are fighting for is to hope that judges or immigration judges will have more of a judicial discretion to allow them to look at an individual case rather than to put things in black and white because Lundy is more than a black and white story. We told the stories and brought to the fore two dozen Asian Americans and South Asians to tell their stories of how immigration laws and policies directly affect their lives. They are HIV positive, they are students, they're professional workers, they are undocumented, some are religious leaders. These are the individuals who are building the LGBT community, who are giving back to American society. The LGBT community benefits from the backs of immigrants, from Asian immigrants. was the most exhausting, the most laborious, the most stressful, expensive, agonizing process ever. Every single application from student visa to training, training to work visa, work visa to green card, you know, the, the questions, the interviews, the expenses, the back and forth, the rejections, the being treated less than. And we trained individuals and, and LGBT API leaders to learn how to have these conversations, to educate the broader community about our rights, about our dignity, and about our needs, and ask them to take action. Sign a postcard to the president, to the Congress, about why these issues matter for all of us. We delivered over 10,000 postcards to Congress to raise our voices and to bring those issues to the fore. Some of the things that Incapia wanted to do was to bring our voices to the fore in both of those settings, to add more racial competency in the LGBT community, to make sure that we can address anti-immigrant bias, but also to queer up immigration. Up to five million undocumented immigrants can now get legal status. This is a tremendous win for our communities and we are so proud and so excited about that work. At the same time, our work is not done. So there's more that we need to do. We need to promote these rights and build awareness so that our community could avail themselves of their new rights. We want to protect the programs because they were challenged in federal court. And we also want to expand these programs because they did not cover everyone. There are still so many undocumented immigrants in the United States who will not benefit from these programs. There are countless LGBTQ API folks like me who have found a home here. Our ticket to continuing to serve and to be part of our community should not be temporary and should not rest on a highly exclusionary and discriminatory scheme. And so on April in 2015, we organized a National Week of Action on Immigrants' Rights. We brought in allies and supporters. LGBT API groups across the United States did a variety of actions, whether it was Trickle in Chicago, or Quapa in Boston showing a movie, or doing a press conference in Louisiana, doing community storytelling in the Bay Area in San Francisco. We are working in an intersectional framework 
to both work within the established civil rights community and immigrant rights community and the mainstream LGBT community to bring all of our voices, all of our issues to the fore at both of those tables.